See, what Mary needs is is a, a health matching account. Okay, that's what she needs. She needs uh she needs the ability to be able to you know save a little money and get that hip fixed. I'm I'm just saying. So check out HMA enrolltosave.com. Uh oh, YouTube. I think we might be on. I think we might be on YouTube in a minute, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to everybody who was patient. I hope the YouTube audience comes back. But I think we're live on YouTube. I think welcome to Lucas Tyndale Live, YouTube audience. We're so glad to have you here. Thank you all every very much who came along with us. We said we were gonna be live on YouTube and then something went wrong and we ended up everywhere but on YouTube. So if you're just tuning in here on YouTube or if you're watching this by replay on any platform, we thank you so much. Okay, hey, I can see some comments now. I can see some comments on YouTube. Hey, if you were on YouTube, go back to YouTube. That's where we want to get our views at. Get our views up on YouTube and on YouTube. It looks like I'm able to see the comments. So go to at Lucas Tyndale. I'm going to type it in the comments here on Facebook so you guys can. Uh, Angel uh, Angelina, I'm sorry. We're talking about Mary J. If you don't mind, you guys, at Lucas Tyndale um, on YouTube. We're going to get y'all over there. I see you, Tyler. You got over there. Tyler, why don't you share that link? Uh, so people can see where we're at on YouTube. I'm going to try to get it too, so we can get people over there. If you won't mind, I don't mind just staying here, but if you don't mind going to YouTube, we love that. And we want you to subscribe because we're going to have some YouTube only stuff go on as well. Okay. I don't know if Facebook didn't like that. It put this weird face in there when I just put that on the comments. I don't know what just happened. It put a little weird face on my thing, but we're going to keep rolling. Ladies and gentlemen. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to try something. I'm trying a lot of new stuff today. One of the things I'm going to try, I'm going to try to show a slide deck, and I don't even know how it's going to work out, but I'm hoping for the best, okay? Hey, China, thank you for coming over. Uh, so I'm going to try to uh, show the slide deck because I created a slide deck with some questions that we're going to be able to do. Robert Johnson, my man, yo, 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 Kiva. Hey, 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 everybody who just said here, uh, China, I think you, I know you were over on YouTube. I mean, you were on Facebook with us. Robert, Kiva, were you guys on Facebook with us too? Because are we all waiting for YouTube to kick off? Because we're really sorry. We did do a couple questions already because we started with a new uh, software and we've had, we've had some technical difficulties, you know? We've had a few technical difficulties, but since you guys have been patient with the technical difficulties, I'm gonna drop, a, drop another background on y'all for y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and drop another. Let's drop another background on them. Let's drop the dice in the background. Y'all see the dice in the background? Drop another background on them, ladies and gentlemen. People gonna tune in like it's something different going on on there. Something different going on on that man's page. I don't know what it is. Well, we using technology to the at, at its finest here on Lucas Tyndale Live Virtual Game Night. We're having a lot of fun with the new setup. I'm learning live, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate so many people. Uh, oh yeah, China. I thought so. I know you came back over. Yep. Thank you so much. I have Christian Turner. Thank you for being here. Nice. I like the new tech. Thank you so much, Robert Johnson. You guys, I really appreciate you guys riding with me. You guys are seeing a show come to life in front of you. I am figuring it out live. I mean, I literally have been day by day learning and figuring it out live. So I'm going to just let people know uh, what's going on. I got to send a, a message out. There we go. Boom. Send a message out. You guys let people know. Send somebody a text message. What's up, Isha? Sliding on over to YouTube. Appreciate that. Send a message out. Bree Pickens, welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. Excited to have you. Ladies and gentlemen, so glad you guys are here. We're going to get on to another question. I'm just picking up questions. Just yeah, I don't know what I'm going to ask. I'm, I'm in the middle of this like you guys, too. All right, I got a question for y'all. This is from the game Descent. I'm trying to look and see if I got the descent box around here somewhere. This is from the game Descent, okay? This is an agree or disagree question. And I want us to talk about this one because I got my own personal feelings about this, all right? You guys tell me, is it true? Here's the question right here. Is it true? Topic card right here. Avocados, this is agree or disagree. Type agree or disagree. Avocados are overrated. Type agree or disagree in the comments. Agree? Or disagree what do you think what do you think agree or disagree in the comments let me know let me let me get that clock started let me let me get the clock started look at that we got sounds we got all kinds of stuff going on here on lucas live we're getting new we're getting better we're improving we're probably messing some stuff up also i don't know but we're figuring it out okay 
We're learning live on Lucas Live. All right, I see some agree. I see some disagree. I'm looking forward to it. All right, time's ticking down. I'm looking forward to seeing what people are really thinking. What do you think about these avocados? They got avocado everything. Avocados, avocados. What are your thoughts about avocados? Is it too much? Is it is it overrated or what? That's what we're trying to find out, ladies and gentlemen. Is it overrated? Are avocados overrated or not? I need to know. What do you think? What do you think? All right, I see some answers. I'm going to give it another second. I know our shot clock has run out, but I'm going to be kind and give us another second to see what people are thinking, to see what the answers are, to see who agrees or not. We're going to figure it out. We're going to see here. I'm so glad YouTube has decided to work for us. And I'm so sorry to anybody and everybody who tried to join us on YouTube and couldn't find us again. I am so sorry, but we are so glad you're here. If you're watching this by replay, play along. I had We've had so many views on our previous game nights that are posted on YouTube. It's been super cool. People have been watching them every day. It's, it's just crazy. People are still finding it from weeks ago, okay? I, I like it. Now, now you, wanna, you might have to make your arguments, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm seeing some different answers. So you might have to actually try to make your argument. I don't know. I don't know. You might have to fight it out, but we're going to see. We're going to see what y'all are saying, and we're going to let the argument roll, all right? All right, all right. Amber... Amber Hairdo, Amber Hairdo, I want to say your last name right. I believe it's Junis. I like, I read it, I see it, and I'm like, I think, it, but I might be saying, it might be like Junius or like Genius. I don't know. You know, help me out, help me out there. But Amber, she does hair. We appreciate you being here, Amber. Thank you so much for being here. All right, let's see. Kyle said agree. Carla said disagree. JJ Lilly said agree. Bree says disagree. Tiffany Horn says, I love them. You can even make a tick out the core i don't know what that even means i'm scared make a tick out the core i don't know what that means but i think you can do something good with it is what she's saying i think so let's see what we got over here we got philip jackson mba msm sphr shrmscp on linkedin with all the credentials we appreciate you being here thank you so much i don't know that we personally know each other but that's okay. That's what it's all about. It's about inviting people in. Everybody is welcome. We're so glad to have you here. Thank you for being here. So uh, he says, agree. Tyler says, I don't particularly care for them, but a lot of people seem to like them. That's true. Uh, Chipotle is charging an arm and a leg. Okay, Amber Junius. Amber Junius. Now I know. So now I know forever. So if I see you and I'll be like, hey, Amber Junius, or if I say it wrong, then you can just be like, you wrong, you wrong. All right, Tiffany Horn said you can make tea out of it out of avocados i don't know i don't know china says disagree she does not think avocados are overrated tiffany says she agrees but maybe if i knew how to finesse finesse it then it would be a change of mind she said maybe if she knew how to finesse make the avocados with a little finesse you know if she knew how to get that i don't know is it like a rock in the middle of that bad boy what is that is that a big seed the seed is bigger than the plant i am confused let me tell you my true feelings about avocados Ladies and gentlemen, Andrea, welcome to the show. Glad to have you here. Sorry, we were having some technical difficulties, so we weren't here at seven. You may have come to find us and couldn't find us, but here we are now. So thank you for joining us. So uh, my personal thoughts on um, avocados are, drum roll, brrr, yep. Mm -hmm. uh, my personal thoughts are avocados are overrated. I, now, it's my personal opinion. Now, here's the tricky part, though. I'm the kind of person that, like, if something don't look right, I don't mess with it, okay? And the problem for me with avocados like and, and guacamole is just like it, it the, the texture, the consistency makes me a little uncomfortable, and then it's just different. And then I try it, and it's like slimy, and it looks like I'm just, it's just me. That's just me. I'm not saying if you love avocados, keep loving avocados. We, do, we stand with you, brother and sister avocado lovers. But I must say to you, I want to look you in your eyes and let you know, I personally think avocados are a bit overrated. Are they healthy? Absolutely. One of the healthiest foods you can get, one of the healthiest fats you can eat. You add avocados to your diet, boom, bow, summer body instantly, all right? So throw some avocados in your diet and boom, bow, hot girl summer is on the way. But I particularly don't like to mess with avocados. Maybe I haven't had them cooked right. I don't know. 
Okay, but but you know, you want to get your hot girl summer on, get you some avocados in your life, ladies and gentlemen, or your hot guy summer, or you want to get a hot girl because you're a guy. I don't know what's going on this summer, uh, or just settle, sit, sit yourself down because we're quarantined and we don't even know if it's going to be a summer. Summer might be canceled for all we know. Okay, I don't know, but whatever's going on, just add some avocados to your life. Okay, China loves avocados. I understand. I understand. All right, all right. It's just said it tastes like dirt. Christian says she disagrees. Kiva agreed. Sharice agreed. No, Sharice disagreed. She thinks avocados are delicious. That's okay. Robert Johnson said that avocados aren't the thing to eat. He does not love them. He's with me. Okay. All right. All right. All right. But but like we said, can we all agree to add a little avocado to our diet? No, me neither. Okay, that's cool. I wasn't going to add them either. I just want to ask y'all. I didn't know what y'all was going to do, man. Let me check. Let's 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 act like it's summer. Let's 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 go to the beach for a second. Let's drop a little beach on them. Let's go to the beach for a second, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't it always weird when you see somebody on the screen sitting like they're sitting in a chair with headphones on and a mic at the beach? Doesn't that make you feel a little uncomfortable? I don't know. I mean, it's a lot of cool stuff technology can do, but sometimes I'm like, that's kind of awkward. What are they doing at the beach with the headphones on and the microphone? I don't know, but whatever. Hey, we're trying to be socially distant out here. Shout out to Seven Floor Clothing. Shout out to Freaking Freeze. We appreciate the support sir, for supporting the show tonight. Thank you guys so much for giving away the free merch. We appreciate it. We're going to have some special deals and make sure we give some stuff away to our inner circle. If you want to be a part of the inner circle, make sure you text Lucas Live to 31996. Text Lucas Live to 31996 to join the inner circle. I promise. It's going to pay off. One day you guys are going to look up and I'm going to be like, the inner circle, you got a car, you got a car, you got a car, or you got a candy bar or something. I don't know what I'm going to give away. Maybe some Amazon gift cards. We're going to find out soon. We're going to give some fun stuff away. So make sure you check and make sure you text Lucas Live, all one word, Lucas Live to 31996 so you can become a part of the inner circle. Jess Brown, Chip, my man Jamar goes by Chip Skylark. Welcome to the show, my friend, my brother. That's my brother for real. Appreciate you. Glad to have you. Mix them in a smoothie. Carla gonna mix them in a smoothie. All right. Uh, Miss uh, Ann Higgins said, make your own guacamole. I went to a place in Atlanta with my sister. My sister, shout out to my sister, Javon. She lives in Atlanta. I went to Atlanta with my sister, and uh, we went to a place called Unks. I think it's called Uncle Julio's or something, but they call it Unks. She said, we got to go to Unks. You in town, we got to go to Unks. We're going to Unks. I was like, cool. We went to Unks, and they made table-side guacamole. Now, whenever somebody stand there and takes their time to literally chop stuff up and chop up the avocado and chop up the tomatoes and chop up the stuff and make table-side guacamole right there, you can't act like you don't like avocados in that moment. So if you you better believe I was in the A eating avocados because they made it at the table-side at Uncle Julio. Shout out to Unks. If you ever been to Unks, I don't know if it's an Unk near you, but if it is, you got to go check out Uncle Julio's and get that tableside guacamole, okay? Um, Christian Turner said she didn't get any text from the Inner Circle. That's because I haven't seen any yet. You know, it just it's, it, the Inner Circle, what you got so far was that first one that was like, thank you for joining, and I'm just waiting to get a few more people in, and we're going to get it rolling. I don't want to harass people because I don't want people to, like, unsubscribe or something. All right, let's do another trivia question, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see how smart you all are. You guys are out there being uh, parents, being uh, teachers for your kids and whatnot. So it's important that you guys have some some base knowledge. OK, so let's see who knows this one. This one is this one is tricky. This is a real this is a real question. All right. We're talking about science right now. The, the topic right now is science. Ladies and gentlemen, don't you click away. Don't click off because you weren't a science major and we're still out here on the beach. Let's get our scene back. Let's get back. We want to get back to trivia. We want to show them where we're at. We want to get back to boom. It's trivia night out here. We want to get back to it. Oh, yep, there we go. Back to trivia night. Let's reset the clock. Put 30 seconds back on the clock. Thank you. Thank you. 30 seconds back on the clock. All right, science. What scientist is famous for formulating the law of universal gravitation? What scientist is famous for formulating the law of universal gravitation? Gravitation, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see who answers this first. Let's see. What's up, Andromeda? Welcome. She said she's never made avocados. It's okay. I'm not judging you. I wouldn't judge you. I don't even like avocados. It's all good. Yep. You've never had an avocado. She says you never even had an avocado. I guess that makes more sense because how do you make an avocado unless you plant it? 
I don't know what I'm talking about because I don't eat avocados. But Andromeda, glad to have you here. Shout out to Andromeda. Can't wait to have you on the show. Can't wait to have some of your members from She Wins Society. We're going to have a She Wins Society week on the show on Lucas Tyndale Live. Shout out to Andromeda. Check her out. Follow her. Shamika Dean, also a part of the She Wins Society. Shout out to She Wins. Or uh, it was it was Women by Choice, now She Wins. Yeah, I want to make sure I got that right. All right, I see some Einsteins. Some people are saying Einstein, Einstein. Somebody said Murphy. Eddie Murphy wasn't a scientist. I don't know where you went to school, but uh, Eddie and Charlie Murphy weren't scientists. But I understand Murphy. I don't know what Murphy, maybe I'm, forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm sure I just don't know. All right, it's all good. It's all good. I would like to pass this question. I know y'all got this. Sheree said she's going to pass. She's going to phone a friend. She's going to let somebody else take this one. All right. China said Newton. It just said Einstein. Andrea said Einstein. Tiffany Skillern said, Newton, who is it? Yeah, She Wins Society. Hey, shout out to the She Wins Society. I was just talking about them. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome, you're not too late. Someone said, I hope I'm not too late. I want to apologize because we were a little bit late. We were having some technical difficulties. We got all this fancy tech, and yet we had some technical difficulties. We're going to work our way through. You guys saw we got some really good guests coming up, lots of cool people. We've had some amazing guests already on Lucas Tyndale Live. If you're not following, if you're not subscribed, if you're not getting notifications, you're missing out. We're going live Sunday through Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern. We have amazing guests. Shout out to Dr. Shamika Dean. She's in the house. She's on Facebook right now playing the game with us. Shamika Dean tore the house down, broke it down, marketing, investing in yourself, education, motivation, liberation. That's what this show is about. Lucas Tindell Live. Today, I want to liberate you to be free to laugh and have some fun. That's what today is about, okay? We're going to have some fun. We're going to laugh. We're going to have a good time. That's what game night is all about. I'm going to bring you guys some concerts. I'm going to bring you guys some more game nights, and I'm going to bring you guys some great interviews with some great guests. I got some great people lined up. Many of you saw that I have Nicole Walters, the creator of 1K One Day, uh, the profit strategy. She's, she's going to be here live in May. We're working on the date, but her and her people have agreed to come on. She's been on Good Morning America. She's been in Forbes magazine. She's been all over the place. But one day on her website, she's going to say, I was on Lucas Live. And that's going to be the one that she puts up at the top so that everybody knows that she, forget Good Morning America, I was on Lucas Live, and that's the big one. Okay, we're getting there one day at a time. All right. Uh, Tyler said science wasn't his strong suit. All right, we had a lot of Einsteins, and we had a lot of Newtons. The correct answer is Sir Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac Newton. He was the scientist famous for formulating the law of universal gravitation. If you are homeschooling your, your, your children and you got that wrong, please consider calling off while you get a little bit more uh, little education under your belt because your kids are going to be confused. It's okay. You can always Google your answers. It's all right. Not, not on this show, but when you're helping your kid, Google it and then go back and look smart. They won't know. They won't know. They won't know the difference. It's all good. All right. Let's do. Now, listen, I'm going to try something different right now. I'm going to see, we, we're trying to tech, we're trying to do something different. So I'm going to try to share my screen. I'm going to try to show y'all some slides. I'm going to try to show them one at a time. I think when I do this, I'm not going to be able to see you. So I'm going to have to kind of jump in and out to see the comments. Let me make sure I got the comments pulled up here on my computer as well. So I'll be able to see you guys here. That might be the way I have to go. That might be the best way for me to see what's happening. Let me get everybody up here. Let me even get my, let me make sure I got my LinkedIn up here on my on my computer as well let me make sure i can see everybody and everybody's comments to make sure i see what's going on let me see i'm saying let me see and then i'm looking at it thinking i don't really know how to do that how do i get to my own profile over here on the linkedin oh there it is there i am there i am posting activity there i am here i am here i am there i am there i am all right let's see here all right, there's comments going. Okay, I can see what's going on. Hey, uh, yes, thank you guys. Okay, I think I can see you guys there. Let's see, hopefully, hopefully most recent. Let's switch that around. All right, I think I can see comments everywhere. I'm about to hit y'all. We're about to do some 90s TV trivia. We're about to do some 90s TV trivia. We're getting we're getting ready to do that. I was going to say, we're doing 90s TV. Did you do something in the comments? And then I just froze like, wait, what do I want them to do? I don't know. 
I don't know. Put a one in the comments if you're ready for 90s TV trivia, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to show you some pictures of some classic 90s shows, and you guys are going to have to answer and tell me what you think, okay? This is going to be fun as long as it works. You know, I hope this slide deck, I think it's going to come up. It's going to take over my screen, though. So we'll figure it out. Put a one in the comments if you're ready for 90s TV trivia. I'm going to have to jump back and forth a little bit. But we're going to make it work. I got this. Okay, Sharice Grantham is ready. I appreciate that. She's ready. Shamika Dean is ready. Andromeda Rahim is ready. I love that name. Carla King is ready. Isha's ready. Sharice, let's go. All right, we're going to do some 90s TV trivia. Make sure you're sharing this broadcast. Make sure you're liking it. Make sure you're letting people know that they're missing out. Let them know. Let them know. Let them know. My man Steve Beatty, he stopped in. I don't know if I caught him. I didn't see that. Derek Curry, I don't know why I didn't see it, but I'm glad you're here. You were here. You were in the house. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. My comments are some are coming through. Some aren't. I don't know, but it's okay. We're working it out anyway. All right. All right. We're going to be all right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this slide deck up. I'm going to click. I'm going to switch scenes because see, I got scenes set up. Now, now, hold on. Hold on. Let's see how this works. Boom. Hit the scene. System audio muted. Boom. Okay. Let's see. Let's share the screen there. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, you got to tell me if you can hear me, ladies and gentlemen. I think it said my system audio might be muted. I don't know. But just want to make sure you guys can still hear my voice. Let me know if you can still hear my voice. I'm pretty sure my voice is still coming through. I'm hoping so anyway. But uh, it, it's it's going to show us a little, little, little character here. Hope you guys can see this character here. And I hope you guys can help me with that. All right, all right, all right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, y'all let me know. Let me tell me in the comments. Can everybody hear me still? I'm pulling this up. All right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Did we switch cameras? I don't know. Looks like we might have. Let's see, let's see. All right. Let's 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 switch the camera around then. We're going to see, hey, if you're here, hold on. We're going to get that straight. We're going to get you guys here. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and come back around. Let's see that scene doesn't have the right camera. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get us straight with the right camera action. Let's see. Let's get us a, a green screen popping. Okay. I see y'all already giving answers now. Y'all already jumping in with the answers. Y'all seeing it there. Y'all are already giving answers. All right. We're going to see here. Let me see. Let me see. All right. I'm going to ask you guys the first question here. You guys ready? Let's see if this, let's get this, let's get this rolling. All right. What is the person's, what is this person's name in real life? What is this person's name in real life? Who is this? Ladies and gentlemen, who is this in real life? Who is this? All right. I think I got y'all here. I think y'all back. We good. I think so. All right. Who is this person in real life? Who is it? Tell me who you think it is. What is this man's name? Who is he in real life? In real life, right? Fake life. Who is he? I see some, some, some things popping. All right. Shamika Dean. I just seen her throw an answer in there. All right. China Sharice. All right. I'm seeing some answers. All right, who is this guy in real life? You guys tell me. Who is it? Who is he? All right, we're seeing some answers here. All right, very good, very good. All right, I'm going to pop back out of here. Let me see if I can pop back off the scene. Let me jump around. All right, boom, let's see. Boom, I'm going to come back here. Boom, boom. Let's see if that brings me back up on the screen. I think it does. I think that brings me back. All right, so this guy is who? He is, a lot of people said it, everybody didn't spell it quite right, but I believe we mostly are saying Jaleel White. That is correct. Jaleel White is our guy. Jaleel White. That's who it is. You guys are correct. All right, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's see who else we got here. All right, let's, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's go to our next one. Let's see. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. All right. What line did he often say to Laura? What was the line? He had a line that he said a lot. He would say this to Laura. He would say, girl, um, something, 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 something. He would say, what was the line? You guys feel free to guess. It's okay if you're wrong. It's all about participation. It's okay. What do we think it is? 
What did he always say to Laura on Family Matters? What did Steve Urkel often say to Laura? It was a line. He said, girl, something. He said something to her all the time as he was moving along, as their relationship was, as he felt their relationship was progressing. He would do that. Okay. So what was it that he was saying to her? What was it he was saying to Miss Laura on uh, Family Matters? What was he saying to her? He was saying, girl, I am doing something, 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 girl. I am. Where we at? Where we at? Where are our answers at? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Come on now. All right. Y'all tell me what you think in the comments. I'm looking to see what you're saying. Did I do that? That was something he said all the time. That wasn't it, but he did say that all the time. Did I do that? He did. He did say that a lot, didn't he? He said that all the time. What was the one that he was saying? Uh, he said this to Laura. He said, girl, I mean, if a man is trying to pursue you and uh, he's trying to get with you, uh, and Robin said, I need to phone a friend. Uh, so he's trying to get with you. And he was telling her that, girl, I'm doing something. He said, I'm something, something, something. I'm something, something. I'm blank, blank, blank. Fill in the blank, blank, blank. Phone a friend and drop it. Go ahead now. Come on, do what you got to do. You got you to gotta find the answers, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever it takes, you got to find your answers, all right? What are you going to do? You got to find the answer somehow. He said, girl. As Tyler said, I can't remember. Have y'all not been watching Fam Family Matters has come back? I think it's on TV One or BET or something. Family Matters is coming back strong. They showing it. All right. So y'all check it out. He said, I'm wearing. I'm, I'm giving y'all clues now. He said, girl, I'm wearing something, something, something. What did he say? I'm wearing Steve Urkel on Family Matters was our clue. And he often said this to Laura. I mean, I, somebody has to know. Somebody here has got to know the answer. I'm wearing you down. All right, Philip Jackson on LinkedIn. It's your read on YouTube said, I'm wearing you down. Yes, thank you guys so much. Appreciate everybody who's here, everybody who was with us on YouTube. We really appreciate it. And, and Facebook and LinkedIn and Periscope, thank you so much. We were going live on YouTube only and we're trying out a new software and we had some technical difficulties. And somehow we ended up not on YouTube, but we ended up on Facebook and Periscope and LinkedIn. And here we are. And we're still figuring it out, okay? I'm sharing this slide deck. I'm not even sure how I'm sharing this slide deck. I got 15 different applications going. I don't know if my computer's about to crash. I don't know what might happen at any minute, but we're going to keep it going and we're going to make it happen. So welcome to Trivia Night. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Lucas Tyndale Live Virtual Game Night Edition. Thank you guys so much for being here. All right. Let's go back. Let me let me get back. Let me get back to the slide deck. Let's go back. Let's go back to the sharing of the screen. Then I'm going to hit you with the boom. And then we're going to hit you with the Some of y'all were seeing that already. All right. I don't want y'all to get too far ahead now. Don't get ahead. All right. We had those two questions. Next question is, after going into his specially built machine, who did he transform into? After going into his specially built machine, who did this character transform into? Who did he become? Y'all, somebody tell me who he became. Takim and Terrell, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for being here. Who did he become? Xavier, thanks for being here. Little cuz, Xavier Thomas, thanks for being here. All right, so who, who was it? I mean, y'all tell me. Who was it that he transformed into when he went into his little machine? He would come back as somebody else. Who was it? You guys have seen it. You guys know. Who was it that he came back as? Y'all tell me who it was. Y'all tell me in the comments who was he when he came back from his special machine. Uh-oh, I'm seeing some answers already. I'm not going to shout them out yet because I don't want to give it away to the people who, you know, I mean, I don't want to give it away to people who still trying to figure it out. He turned into, all right, a lot of people on Facebook are shouting it out. They seem to know it. Where we at on our other platforms? Y'all tell me who was it that that guy transformed into? I'm seeing more. Yep, yep, yep. We're all spelling it different, but, you know, y'all see what I'm talking about. All right, I see y'all. Okay, Sharice, I see you over there. JJ Lilly, I see you. That is what he said. I couldn't remember. Okay, Lester Sanders, welcome to the show. Lester Sanders, thank you for being here. Lester Sanders has a special free program coming out soon for, for teenagers who are aging, getting ready to go to college. Let me shout out Lester Sanders real quick while y'all continue to 
continue to, to fill in your answers. Uh, he has a free Zoom event coming up. Um, he's going to do a Q&A about the event. Oh, outside the, okay, yeah, we're going we're gonna to connect. Okay, so go to LesterSanders.com forward slash events. LesterSanders.com forward slash events to find out more about his free Zoom event where he's going to be helping young people get ready, planning and paying for college, planning and paying for college, a free webinar on May 12th at 6.30 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you guys check that out at LesterSanders.com forward slash events. Lester, I told you if you came on the show, if you came into the broadcast, my man, I would remember to shout it out. I got it. I remember. Stefan Urkel. I think that's what everybody said. Stefan Urkel. Y'all remember he came out. He was Steve Urkel, had on the suspenders, had on the glasses. Was did I do that? He was he was that dude, right? And then he went into the machine. And then he came out. Stefan Urkel. You see how his voice changed. You see how my voice changed. Even when I said it, he came out, Stefan Urkel. He was the man. And then pretty soon, uh, you know, it's funny. Family Matters actually is a show. Family Matters is a spinoff of a show called Perfect Strangers. If anybody remembers Perfect Strangers with Balky and the other dude. And if you remember, the mom on uh, Family Matters was like the secretary. She like worked on the show in the newsroom or something. I don't remember all the details. But uh, and then Carl was the husband and he came on the show too. And then they started this show and the show was going to be built around the mom and the dad and the family. And then this neighbor dude, Steve Urkel came over and he lit it up. He, he killed it on the screen and everybody loved him. And then the show totally shifted to becoming a show about Steve Urkel. It was called family matters. It was about the family, but the star of the show wasn't even in the family because he stole the show. That's a message for somebody right there. You might not be the planned one. You might not be the chosen one, but you might steal the show. All right, so, all right, I'm just saying. I'm just trying to tell somebody, you never know. You might steal the show. You never know, you might steal the show. All right, shout out to Jaleel White, Steve Urkel, Stefan Urkel, J.J. Lee said, without glasses. That's basically what happened. His glasses, he took his glasses off, that's all. He went in the machine. It was nothing but a closet, okay? He changed clothes, took his glasses off, and changed his voice. That's all it was, but whatever. You know what I mean? He came out. And he was Stefan Urkel. He was uh, the man, Stefan Urkel. Shout out to Stefan Urkel. All right, all right, all right. Let's keep moving, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys again, everybody who's here with us. We're going to go a little bit longer. We're not going to keep you here all night, but we're going to have a good time. Uh, Andrea said, I love Perfect Strangers. They were hilarious. I didn't know the history of Family Matters. Listen, I got a lot of random facts in this brain of mine. I know a lot of stuff about a lot of stuff. You know, I just be reading and learning and studying stuff for no reason. So, yes, that is the history of Family Matters. It was a spinoff of Perfect Strangers. And then Family Matters, I believe Step by Step was a spinoff of Family Matters, if I'm not mistaken. And you remember back in the 90s, 80s, 70s, they used to spin off some shows like spinoff of a spinoff of a spinoff. Like that, that's how it was. It was like The Bachelor. The only show that spins off now is like The Bachelor, The Bachelorette. Like somebody who didn't get chosen becomes the next Bachelor and so on. That's a spinoff. They just spinning off from other stuff. So that's how they get down. That's what we see going on. So everybody knows that's the history of Family Matters. Now you know. Now you know. All right. So let's go. Let's do another one. Then we got some other 90s trivia. I want to show you guys some more. Let me get this tuned. Let me get this up for you guys. Let me get this going. We're going to get into another one of those, and then we're going to do some other games. We're going to do some other questions. All right, I'm going to go to one of my – let me get let me get back over here before y'all see all the questions and all the stuff. Let's go to Fresh Prince, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, one of my favorite shows. I mean, if the Fresh Prince was one of your favorite shows, just, 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 just holler it out in the comments. I mean, the Fresh Prince is where it's at. The Fresh Prince was classic i mean the fresh prince like own the 90s the reruns are still killing it the fresh prince of bel-air all right let's see let's see all right so let's check out our first question what is the real i'm going to ask you guys several questions in a row before i jump back on what is the real name of the main character will smith on the show what is the real name what is the real name of will smith the lead character on the show what is his name in real life ladies and gentlemen you guys know. I hope you know. If you don't know, if anybody gets it wrong, what's up, Vitra? 
welcome, welcome, welcome. If anybody gets this wrong, I'm going to be mad at you. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. What do you think his name was in real life? What is the man's name? I'm going to ask this question. We're going to move on to the next question because if y'all don't know this, then y'all just need to, y'all can, you can go ahead and go. I appreciate everybody watching, but if you don't know this one, I'm going to be a little bit concerned. All right, Shamika Dean, I appreciate you. All right, she got it right. Anybody gets it wrong, you're getting booted out the room. I don't even know how to kick people out, but I'm sure I can and I will if I must. I can if I will if I must. All right, Will 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 Smith, J.J. Lilly, Vitra said Will Smith. All right, where are the rest of the answers at? It's more people in the room now. Where y'all at? If y'all don't know this one, I'm going to be upset with y'all, okay? I'm going to keep moving. I'm going to give you okay. Sharice going to say Willard. Okay, okay. Why you got to be all... Okay, Willard. All right, probably is. Yes, Willard Smith. Willard Samuel Smith or something. Yes, probably. I don't know. Very good. All right, Sharice gets bonus points. She believes it's Willard Takima Will. Uh, Willard Carol Smith, says Jackie Scott. All right, that said, I, I don't know. I guess it is Willard. I forgot that it was all at Willard. But nonetheless, Will Smith, very good, very good. Let's go to our next question on this one. What often happened to Will's best friend, Jazz, on the show, what often happened to poor Jazz? What happened to Jazz? Philip Jackson, thank you. Philip Jackson also said Willard Smith. Willard Carroll Smith Jr. If when people put all of that, I start to wonder if they was Googling answers. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. I mean, Will, Willard, Willard Carroll, you guys knew that? I like that. That's great. Okay, it's cool. All right, so uh, this is Dave. All right, that's his name. All right, Sharice, that's his name, Willard. I mean, I get it. I get it. It's all good. All right, his friend Jazz. What often happened to his friend Jazz? What was happening to Jazz all the time on the show? What was it that was happening to Jazz on the show? Shamika Dean don't be playing, y'all. I already know, man. Shamika, I see you. I ain't, I ain't doing game night at your house. I can already tell that you don't play. You don't. You play games, but you don't play games. You one of those people, right? You play games, but you don't play no games. I can tell. You, you, you answer it quick. She ain't playing. All right. All right, somebody's okay. All right, Shamika Dean said he was thrown out the front door. Vita said getting kicked out. JJ Lilly said he got thrown out. Tamika, Takima Terrell, so she said kick out by Uncle Phil. All right, 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 okay. He got kicked out. He got thrown out the front door. Tyler said he got kicked out. He got thrown out. Thrown out by Uncle Phil, Sheree said. All right, yep. Audrey said the girls didn't go for him. That's true. The girls didn't go for him. That is true. He was always trying to holler at Hillary. But it wasn't happening, but he was getting thrown out the front door. Yeah, Chimika Dean over here laughing. She ain't playing. Yeah, Uncle Phil, Jackie said Uncle Phil passed away. He passed away a few years ago. Shout out to Uncle Phil, James Avery, the great actor. Now, here's another little fact. Uh, Will Smith, uh, when he started on the show, he wasn't an actor, right? He was a rapper. He tells this story. It's a great YouTube clip. He tells the story of how he became the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. He was already the Fresh Prince. It was DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. And it was a group of three. It was him, uh, DJ Ready Rock, I think, and uh, Jazzy Jeff, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. Or don't correct me. Just Google it later, right? But anyway, he was in a, in a rap group. He won the first ever rap Grammy. Shout out to DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. He won the first ever rap Grammy, blew all his money, and was broke. And then he went to this party at Quincy Jones' house. And Quincy Jones, and then they, the, the, the guy from NBC, one of the guys from uh, Benny Medina, I think it was, who wrote the show kind of loosely on his life, like had pitched the idea. And then Quincy Jones was like, Fresh Prince, like Will Smith, you the guy. And they ended up doing it. And he became the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Okay. And and when he was on the show, he, he didn't know how to act. And he would be standing there. And he said, if you watch the early episodes of the Fresh Prince, he's literally mouthing everybody's lines. He said he learned everybody's lines so that he remember, would remember what his line was. So he, if somebody was saying, hey, Will, what are you doing? He'd be going, well, what are you doing? He'd be mouthing it so he could remember his lines. And he said, James Avery, a.k.a. Uncle Phil, rest in peace, Uncle Phil, James Avery, he, would he taught him how to be an actor. He taught him how to be a professional. He taught him how to deliver his lines. And if anybody remembers the most moving scene in TV history, come on, I, 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 somebody has to agree with me that the most moving scene in TV history was the scene on The Fresh Prince where his dad didn't want him. Anybody agree? The most moving scene in TV history was the episode where, uh, his, his, who was that? Ben Vereen played his dad, Lou, and Lou came through, and, and Lou didn't want him. 
Yeah, yeah, that was his first acting job, Shamika. His first acting job was on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, and he didn't know what he was doing, and he was learning. Will Smith was learning. But anybody know what I'm talking about? Y'all show some love. I see some hearts going up. Y'all show some love. If y'all know what I'm talking about, when uh, it, woo, man, yeah, that featured the episode with his dad. He was like, why don't he want? He was like, you know, because I'm gonna be a better man than him. I'm gonna be a better father than him. Because ain't nothing he can teach me about how to be a dad. I learned how to dribble a basketball without him. I learned how to shoot, shoot, uh, how to shave without him. And I got pretty good, didn't I? And I did all that. And it, why don't he want me, man? And he wrapped his arms around Uncle Phil. And every time I see that episode, my allergies start acting up. Still to this day, every time I see that episode, my allergy, I got a little bit of allergy and then post nasal drip. And then it just, I, that's just me. But it's, it's moving. It's moving. Okay. JJ Lilly said she cried. Anybody knows that scene? I've done training with cor I've done corporate trainings and shown that scene just to show people emotion. Like how you show emotion, man. Woo! Will Smith. Shout out to Will Smith. He's one of the best actors out there. Shout out to Will Smith. Everybody, shout out to that episode. Shout out to the scene where his dad didn't want him. And he pushed through. He said, why don't he want me? And it hit you in the soul, didn't it? If, if Shamika said she cries every time she sees it. What's up, Nina? Nina says she cries too. All right, guys, I'm not alone. All right, so I'm going to admit it's not my allergies, okay? It's not my allergies. It's my sinuses. It'll be my sinuses when I see that episode and it makes water come out of my eyes, okay? All right, why don't he want me, man, right? Y'all getting emotional right now watching that. Just talking about it, right? Y'all getting emotional on Lucas Live on Virtual Game Night. We appreciate it. We take you there on lucas live all right it was emotional right lester sander shout out to lester sanders again lester make sure you throw your website link into the comments so people can check you out people are crying right now people are falling apart in the comments i done turned game night into a sad time i'm so sorry we're gonna get back to it let's get back to some questions here um all right all right let, 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 here's, a, here's a question this is from the game Black card revoked, ladies and gentlemen. This is about black culture. You don't have to be black to understand black culture. I know a lot about white culture. I know a lot about other cultures. And I'm not those other cultures, but I know about those cultures. So tell me what you think. This one is majority rules, okay? Majority rules. Majority rules. Thank you so much, Nina, for sharing that. Thank you. Shit, I was blessed to grow up with both mom and dad, but my daughter, I always feel for her. Beautiful little girl. Can't believe how old your daughter's getting Nina. Shout out to Nina, her beautiful family. Shout out to her. So let's let's look at this next question. Let's look at this next question. Again, thank you guys who are here right now live. Thank you, everybody who's watching this by replay. Thank you, everybody who joined in, jumped in whenever you came in. I apologize to people who were looking for us on YouTube earlier. We're working with a new platform. We're actually working with multiple new platforms. We got a new setup in the back. We got new all kind of stuff is going on around here. And we're figuring it out as we go. All right. So I appreciate y'all. All right. So the next question is when this comes on and this is majority rules. All right. So majority rules, whatever, whatever the most votes is, that's who wins this one. Majority rules. When this comes on, you know, your auntie is getting up for the line dance. All right. I'm going to give y'all some options. When this comes on, you know, your auntie is getting up for the line dance with a drink in her hand and everything. A, electric slide. B, Cupid shuffle. Cupid shuffle. C, the wobble. Or D, step in the name of love. When this song comes on, you know your auntie is getting up to do the line dance. A, electric slide. B, the Cupid shuffle. C, the wobble. Or D, step in the name of love. Majority rules. Give us your answers, ladies and gentlemen. Give us your answers. We can get that clock going again. Boom, look at that. Got the clock rolling because we got extra technology here now. Let me see what else I can throw on the screen. We just practiced in today. Appreciate it. Oh, look at that. HMA and Roll to Save, our main sponsor tonight. Make sure you go to HMA and Roll to Save and check out Health Matching Account. Check out all the great benefits. Don't wait. Me and my family have a Health Matching Account. And when something comes up, we're going to have some money for medical expenses. It's going to help cover you beyond your insurance. All right. So check out HMA and Roll to Save, our sponsor today. I see an A. I see a, I see a C. I see an A. I see a, all of the All of the above. A couple of people said all of the above. I'm seeing Cupid Shuffle. All right. This is always one of my favorite questions. This is really fun and funny to think about. 
my auntie getting up for all four. That's right, Tyler. She getting up for all four. This is one of my favorite questions here that we like to ask because I like to see what y'all are thinking. Which one is it that your auntie would get up for? Which one is it? I'm seeing another one. I'm seeing, a, okay, another Cupid shuffle. All right, all right. C, D, step in the name of love. I got two steps in and stepping in the name of love. Now, see, some people used to step in the name of love. And then we found out what we already knew that Mr. Kelly might have some uh, some issues, okay? And so I don't know about how you feel, and we're not going to get into that argument tonight about whether you should still be stepping in the name of love or stepping in the name of any of those things or being trapped in the closet or any 12 plays, or any of those. Um, you know, I don't know. I mean, R. Kelly was a very talented guy. I don't know what's right or wrong, but I know I, I, something ain't right with the brother and uh, I just struggle a little bit when I hear the songs because I just be, I don't know. But we're not going to go there. We're not going to go all the way there tonight. All right, let me look at these answers again. Let's see what we got the most of. I think we got a lot of, we got A, we got all of, I think all of the above. I don't even know if that's a violent answer, but we got a lot of those. We got a lot of those. The electric slide, electric slide, A, A, A. I think electric slide takes the win. Electric slide wins for tonight. Electric slide. All right. I have a couple other questions. I had slides for them, but I'm not going to go to the slides, but I'm going to ask you guys some questions. So one of the other 90 shows that I wanted to show was Martin. Martin is one of my favorite shows ever. Martin and uh, Fresh Prince, two of my top two ever all time favorite shows. On Martin, there was a guy that went by the name of Jerome. He went by the name of Jerome and he was a player from where? The question is, Jerome on Martin was a player from where? Ladies and gentlemen, let me give you 30 seconds on the clock. Let's reset that clock. Boom. Let's go. Jerome on Martin was a player from where? Tell me where Martin, tell me where Jerome was from on the show. Martin, one of the all-time favorites. Again, shout out to Seventh Floor Clothing. Check them out at sevenfloorclothing.com. Socially distant t-shirts. They got the nice Kermit championship hats. You don't want to miss it. You want to make sure you check them out. Ladies and gentlemen, Jerome was a player from where? Where was he from? He often talked about it. It was a part of his little, you know, how he did what he did. You know, he was a player from the, from the where? Where was he from? My man, Jerome. Uh Oh, I'm seeing some answers. All right. People was like Googling how to spell it. <laughs> See that spell it. Uh, my man Rob Johnson said from the fifth floor. <laughs> from the fifth floor. Jerome, Jerome wasn't from the fifth floor, man. That was somebody else. <laughs> I just said Queens, New York City. Queens, New York City. All right, Petra. All right, Petra knows. Takima knows. Jackie knows. All right. I appreciate it. Jerome in the house. Jerome in the at oh at oh watch your mouth. Jerome was in the house. He was a player from the Himalayas. Player from the Himalayas. All right, very good. Most of you got it. It's your got it. Tyler got it. Jerome was a player from the Himalayas. All right, now somebody alluded, touched on another question that I have. There was another character on the show, the hit TV show Martin with Martin Lawrence, Tisha Campbell, and the other people. I get to Sheena Arnold and uh, Coley Cole. Uh, forget his name, but anyway, and and and, uh, and my man, shout out to my man Tommy. Rest in peace, Tommy. Uh, rest in peace, Tommy. All right, all right, all right. My man Robert Johnson said he's recording and watching. Robert Johnson, my man. Robert Johnson gonna be on doing a concert for us one day soon. So stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. Lester Sanders, he was from the Himalayas. All right. So another question. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do a couple more questions. We're gonna wrap this thing up. A couple more questions. So uh. There was a guy who lived in the building. I don't even remember whose building he lived in, if it was Martin or Gina's, because he was on like different episodes and it was kind of weird. I think he lived in Martin's building. And uh, his name was Bruh Man. His name was Bruh Man. And Bruh Man lived on the fifth floor. Not the fifth, but the fifth. F I F, fifth floor. How many fingers did Bruh Man hold up when he told everyone what floor he lived on? Bruh man from the fifth floor. How many fingers did he hold up when he told people what floor he was on? Somebody tell me. Bruh man from the fifth floor. Welcome everybody who's joining. Welcome to Lucas Tyndale Live quarantine virtual game night. We're having a lot of fun here. If you missed the beginning, you can go back and watch the replay. 
It'll be on YouTube. It'll be on Facebook. We took us a little bit to get on YouTube. We were supposed to be live on YouTube tonight. And we had some technical difficulties because we stepping up our technical game around here. And so, all right, I'm seeing, I'm seeing some answers. Bro, man, from the fifth floor, he held up how many fingers when he told us. All right, our time was up. I didn't even see the time was up because I'm so busy rolling with y'all. All right. He was from the fifth floor. But brother man from the fifth floor. What's up, Dante Stewart? Welcome to the show. Glad to have you here, my friend. He was from the fifth floor and he held up four fingers. He said, I'm brother man from the fifth floor. And he walked with the slow bop. He walked with the slow bop. And he made Witty Hutton t-shirts one time. And he got he got attacked. And, and Martin said, I don't know where brother man is. He was running with the slow bop. I don't know where he is, man. And they got they got chased down because they went to sell Whitney Houston t-shirts. And instead, it said Witty Hutton. He said, bro, man, can't spell. Bro, man, can't spell. All right, all right, all right. Let's do another question. Let's do another black card revoked. Let's do another black card revoked. Let's get back. Let's get back to another dance here. We, this was one of the questions. This goes with one of the questions that we had just a minute ago. Bro, man, from the fifth floor. I see your laughter. Thank you for hitting those laughs. And on Facebook. Thank you guys for showing love on whatever platform you're on. Thank you guys so much. All right. Another question that goes with dancing. We just asked what song does your auntie, when it comes on, she has to grab her glass. I mean, she has to get up and get on the dance floor and do the line dance. And the winner was electric slide. Okay. We, 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 we agreed. Uh, overall, it was electric slide. Shout out JJ Lily. Thank you for being here. It's Kima. Thank you for staying with us. Tyler, everybody who's staying with us. Thank you guys so much. All right. Answer this question. What should you do after you wobble? I'm going to give you guys multiple choice, okay? So stay tuned. Let me reset this clock here. What should you do after you wobble? A, back it up. B, bust the move. C, get in there. Or D, hit the floor. A, back it up. B, bust the move. C, get in there. Or D, hit the floor. What do you do after your wobble, baby, wobble, baby, wobble? What do you do? Somebody tell me. Somebody got the song in their head. Somebody's dancing right now thinking about the wobble. Somebody about to play it when we get off the show. Somebody about to play it right now. Somebody about to play a little wobble. Somebody about to play some wobble. Let's see, man. Somebody about to throw some wobble on right now. What do you do when you hear the wobble? What are you supposed to do next? Do you back it up, bust the move, get in there, or hit the floor? What do you do? What do you do when you hear the, when you do the wobble? What do you do? All right, I'm seeing some answers popping up. I'm seeing some people. Y'all starting to throw them in there. All right, we're going to see. We're going to see. Y'all starting to, y'all thinking about it. I see y'all. All right. I see y'all. Y'all trying to figure it out. What do you do? 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 Oh, I got to turn it down. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to give it away. All right, I don't want to give it away. I don't want to give it away. All right. There's some there's some discussion. What do you do? You back it up? You get it in there? I see some, uh, there's some different answers here. Let me get back with y'all. Let me see what y'all talking about. After you wobble, what should you do? Back it up, bust the move, or get in there. The correct answer was C, get in there. You get in there after you wobble, baby, wobble, baby, wobble. All right, you get in there. What are you doing? Come on now. You get in there, of course. Robert Johnson, I think, was first. This is a music guy. He's been playing at a lot of weddings. <laughs> he went to a lot of receptions. And I'm sure he knows the next thing you do after you wobble is you get in there, right? You jump on in there. You get in there, right? Y'all know how to wobble, right? All right, we're going to have a line dancing. If somebody wants to lead Lucas Live line dancing one day, let me know. We'll do Lucas Live line dancing. I'll, I'll video you in and you can teach line dancing to our Lucas Live audience. If somebody wants to do that, reach out to me. I'd love for us to do Lucas Live line dancing. Somebody let me know or tag somebody in the comments and say such and such is a line dancing expert. They so good. They could teach us because they got to slow it down. You know, you ever have somebody trying to show you how to line dance and they do it all quick because they know how to do it. They be moving. They be like, get in there. Wobble, baby. Wobble. You be like, man, what is they doing? Right? You'd be like, I ain't coming to no more receptions. I'm sick of y'all. I'm sick of y'all because y'all be learning dances in your spare time. And I got kids. And y'all I don't have time to learn all the line dances. All right. So you guys, if somebody wants to do it, let me know. All right. Welcome, welcome. Latasha Ellis. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Tasha, you're gonna do the line dance. Because live line dance, you said got it. I don't know if you mean got it as in you're gonna do that for us, but I'm looking for somebody. So if that's you, 
let me know. I would love to have you on the show. I'd love to have you do some line dancing. You're going to just set up your phone. We'll do it like TikTok. We'll just slow it down and we'll let everybody learn. I'm looking for somebody to do Lucas Live line dancing. Okay, I want to thank you guys so much, everybody who's been supporting Lucas Live. Make sure you remember that you can join our inner circle by texting Lucas Live, all one word, to 31996. Text Lucas Live to 31996. I'm learning my new technology, so I don't already have that all queued up, but uh, I'm going to work it out, right? Text Lucas Live. Let me see. I'm going to work it out. I'm going to see if I can get this done now. Lucas Live to 319, 319-96. You don't even have to put the dash in there, I don't believe, but you can text Lucas Live to 31996. There we go. Boom. Text Lucas Live to 31996. Let me move that over. Boom. It's sitting right there. Do that. Make sure you join the inner circle. Somebody earlier said, I haven't gotten any text messages. Well, I'm collecting names. I'm collecting the, the numbers right now, but we're going to be sending out some cool stuff. So make sure you text Lucas Live to 31996 to join the Lucas Live inner circle. Ladies and gentlemen, we want you to be a part of what we're doing. We're going to have a lot of other great shows. We're going to do some more virtual game nights. We're going to do some concerts. I'm talking to multiple people about some live concerts like we did with Saxy Rob. Um, we're going to have some other great guests. You guys have seen some of the names. You haven't seen some of the names. I got filmmakers. I got entrepreneurs. I got families. We're going to talk about interracial dating this week. And we're going to have a, a interracial couple on this week. And they're going to talk about some of the complexities. And we're going to get some opinions and some thoughts about that. We're going to talk about mentoring. We're going to talk about a lot of great things. We're going to talk to a someone who's built a huge social media following in a short amount of time. Black Christian influencers. Check that out. Uh, I want to share. We're going to see that this week as well. We have so much great stuff going on. Stay tuned. I'm going to be letting you guys know about so many new things that are going to be happening. Okay. I also said there might be extra charges if I text to that. Oh, Tyler said his phone said there might be extra charges if he texts to that. That's that's a lie. That's just something that they have to say. That was from 2000, the year 2000. You had your text minutes and you had, you had your anytime minutes and you had your, your nighttime minutes. And so to see the people you really cared about, you would let them use your anytime minutes. You know, like ladies, if a dude was really into you, he would call you with his anytime minutes. But if he wasn't, he would only call you at night. He said, girl, I got to call you after nine because, uh, you know, that's when my nights and weekends start. And that's when I can afford to talk to you. But if he was serious, he'd hit you with the anytime minutes and he would spend his anytime minutes on you. And he'd be like, good morning. How are you? OK, so if, if you text Lucas Live to 31996 and they say you might have some extra charges, they no extra charges unless you have a prepaid phone, maybe. But, you know, what I'm saying generally most people are not having extra charges to text people because unlimited texting has been around for a long time. All right. So I want to thank everybody else who's joined us, everybody who's jumped in. Thank you guys so much. We're going to be wrapping it up here, but I want to welcome you guys again. And thank you. Please go back and watch the replay. If you were watching us on YouTube, if you went to YouTube at seven o'clock, like I said, I said, be there on YouTube only. And you didn't find us. I apologize. We are trying out some new technology. We're showing you guys some new things. I showed you guys a few things. I want to show you guys a few more things we can do for people who are just coming in. We got the, we got the screen. We got a lot of stuff going on. Let's see if we can throw the Fresh Prince up there. Look at that. Fresh Prince. We did a Fresh Prince question earlier and we got, the man will smith is in the house today okay we're doing a lot of stuff and we're going to use this technology uh to do some really cool stuff in the future so make sure you guys stay tuned if you guys uh have seen some of the previous episodes make sure you guys check it out and listen last week we had a great discussion with g bush mr garrett bush uh just last sunday we had a great discussion and we're gonna have him back i believe jeremiah McElroy might be in the in the broadcast but we're gonna have a debate here coming up soon where they're going to debate who's the greatest. All right. So make sure you guys are checking out the, uh, the last dance series. All right. I'll be checking that out on Sunday nights at 9 PM Eastern. It will be May 3rd this Sunday, and we're going to have episodes five and six. So make sure you guys are ready to check out episodes five and six of the last dance. It's super exciting. We're going to have two more weeks of that. After that, we'll make sure Lucas live is not on during that time. So we can all enjoy it together. Tyler, thank you so much. Ebony Hill, thank you for jumping in here. Lester, again, I want to thank you for being here. Sharice, Vitra, uh, Ann Hagen, Tasha Ellis, Shamika Dean, Andromeda, Takima, everybody who was here tonight. Dante, I just want to thank you guys. Jacqueline Scott, I appreciate you for being here and being such a strong supporter. People who live in the Ohio area, check out the repository tomorrow. Lucas Live is going to be a feature in the Around Town section, so make sure you guys get a copy 
of the repository tomorrow. I'm so excited to be featured in our local paper. It's one small step for Lucas Live, one giant leap for where we're going, okay? So make sure you guys check that out. Get your subscription. Go grab it. I know when you try to look at stuff online, it tries not to show you everything. So see if you can check it out or go to your local. I mean, I don't want you leaving your house too much, but go to your local gas station. Go somewhere and grab a repository tomorrow. If you live in the Canton, Maslin, Akron, Alliance area, check out the Canton repository. We're going to tell our story about Lucas Live and how it came about. So I'm really excited about that. Thank you all so much for the love. It's really going great here at Lucas Live. We have so much coming to you. Uh, make sure you text this number so you guys can get up-to-date information and know what's going on, all right? Thank you so much, Kina, for joining us. Sharice, thank you so much for jumping in. We're closing out here, but I want to take a minute to thank everybody. We're going to have another great show tomorrow at 7 p.m. We go Sunday through Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern uh, each night, and then we have a couple special events. Like tonight, we had our game night, our virtual game night. It got off to a slow start. We were working out our new technology, but it's been really cool. I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments. Reach out to me. Let me know if you like the new technology. And please stick with us as we work through the kinks and figure it out. And figure it out. We're going to end with a little scene here. This is a scene. This is actually a scene from my dining room right here. This is what it would look like if I was sitting right in front of my fireplace in my dining room. All right. Good night. So funny. We had a great time. Thank you so much, Isha. I really appreciate it. Mrs. Pope. Yes. Repository is online also. So make sure. You check that out. Damon, thank you so much for being here. Everybody who stopped in, I really appreciate it. Please continue to follow us. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. You guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody, have a great night.